Welcome back everybody, I'm Michael LaPlaca, joined alongside by Dennis Courier, Dayton Flyers men's soccer head coach. We're here at halftime here between the St. Francis Red Flash and the Dayton Flyers and the reason why we have Dennis here in studio is to preview the 2013 Atlantic 10 men's soccer championship. Now the University of Dayton is hosting all the matches at Bojan Field at the University of Dayton campus and the Dayton Flyers are the fifth seed in the tournament. Coach, uh, previewing the tournament field a little bit, it seems like this group of schools that are in the championship, anybody from one through eight really can win this thing. Absolutely. There's a lot of parity in the A-10. There always has been, but this year especially, you know, I don't think any team has, has uh, pushed above everybody else. And, uh, you know, it's a wide open field and anything can happen. It's going to be the team that gets on a hot streak and really gets some momentum, uh, momentum going. And, uh, you know, hopefully that's going to be us. Now, a little bit for fans who don't know about the 2013 Dayton Flyers, how would you describe your season so far? You know, it's been a phenomenal season. You know, we went 10-0 in the, in the non-conference, which has never been done. And, you know, we were the only undefeated, uh, unbeaten team in the country. Um, hit national rankings this year. We're nationally ranked in, in scoring offense and, and uh, defense. Um, so it's been a, a tremendous year. You know, I think in the middle, once we hit conference, uh, we had a little bit of a lull. But uh, seeing the team go back and, and really gain that momentum that we needed, uh, especially in the last three games, this is when we're playing our best soccer and uh, getting through three wins on the road was, was really um, very impressive. We are here with Dennis Courier, Dayton Flyers men's soccer head coach. Dayton is in action. The first match that they will play will be Thursday night at 8 o'clock. It will be at Bojan Field. Tickets are still available. And the tournament will be held Thursday, Friday, day off Saturday, and the championship game on Sunday at 1 o'clock. And coach, for uh, the casual fan or somebody that hasn't seen your team play, who are some key players to watch on your squad? Well, you know, <clears throat> right now we're fourth in the country in scoring offense, so we have a lot of attacking players, very exciting ones. Um, uh, Abe Keller, Greg Enstone, um, Amas, uh, number 16 in the middle. These guys are really exciting forward, uh, players going forward, and, you know, there are certainly guys to keep an eye on. And, um, there's nothing more exciting to the fans than actually putting the ball in the back of the net. Now, for, uh, also for a lot of fans who haven't uh, seen Bojan Field or attended a game there, probably one of the best atmospheres in all of college soccer. How would you describe the atmosphere at Bojan? You know, it's electrifying. You know, with the when there's no track around there, you have the two buildings, it keeps all the sound in there. Red Scare has been amazing this year, and, and the, the noise level has been really loud. It really gives us a sense of having an extra player out there. Um, and just the view from the terrace seating is amazing. So I certainly agree, it's got to be one of the best places to play in, in the country. It's a little bit different format this year with this tournament with eight schools all participating in it. It seems more of an even playing field instead of previous years where the top two schools got the opening round by. So with the change in the format and with the way that your team has been playing of late, what are some of the keys to victory in order to win the A-10 uh, conference championship and get that automatic bid into the NCAA tournament? It's really going to be based on momentum. You know, the first game is going to be important. It's about how, you know, you come out and, and handle uh, all really the excitement and, and uh, being in the postseason, knowing that winning the tournament, you'll get into the NCAA tournament. So, um, and it's about just the progression, about us um, building that momentum that we need offensively, shutting down our opponents, and then you start to gain trust in between the players. And once that starts to happen, it starts to you get on a roll, and hopefully you can continue to win and then get into that final game where really anything can happen. Does it, the strategy or the way the tempo of the game is played change because you're in the postseason? Because one goal in regulation or in overtime can doom your year? Well, I certainly think the tempo of the game is going to be increased in, in, in every match. You know, everybody knows that, uh, you know, if you lose, you're done. And uh, I think that brings a, an element of more physicality. Um, and uh, I think the, the games, the, the pace of the game is going to be a lot faster. And, and hopefully we can grab that and dictate play, you know, from the start. And we've been playing relentless soccer right now. You know, we've been getting on top of teams and, and staying in their end and, and being relentless and going to goal and getting a lot of chances. And that's what we have to continue to do. All right, so the Atlantic 10 Men's Soccer Championship will be held Thursday, Friday, day off Saturday, and then Sunday for the championship. Uh, Coach, any final thoughts about uh, your team or the tournament? Uh, certainly the campus is going to be rocking, uh, and Bojan Field never more exciting. Uh, as there's going to be some great collegiate soccer here in Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, we got some some of the top teams in the country coming in. You know, with uh, with the A10, it's been f fantastic, and you know we're just excited to play in it. We've got a great uh, senior uh, class, great leadership. Um, I know that this team has really worked hard outside the 
the soccer and in the community and in the university and, and uh, they've really inspired everybody. So, you know, we're excited to, to have it here at Dayton and hopefully we can bring home a championship. So for more information on Dayton Flyers soccer, go to DaytonFlyers.com and for more information on the A-10 tournament, go to Atlantic 10. Com. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break and continue with our halftime show right after this.